Hello and welcome. It's always a joy to cover a game here at Elland Road. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's Crystal Palace, and they take on Ipswich Town. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Are you? Takes aim! And a goal it is! No long wait for the opener today! Well, it's lovely technique, as you can see. He just wraps his foot around the ball and bends it beyond the keeper. That's a good goal. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. And do they mean business on this occasion? Bomb. Intelligent threaded pass here. This could square the game, but the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. Over it comes. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Burns. Well, possibilities inside the box. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. Let's see about the delivery. And he's clear as lines. Could be dangerous. Has someone to play it to. Big chance to get them on terms. Must be. Well, it might still work out for them. And problem solved for now. Wilfried Zaha. Jeffrey Schlup. And across the touchline, so a throw in here. Schlup. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So, 2-0 now.
Connor Chaplin. Good tackle, take it away. Well, it's been quite clear that Palace have been second best in terms of possession, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Keeping the ball moving. Jordan Ayew, marvellous anticipation. Selina. Sam Morsi here. Lee Evans. Excellent ball over the top. Deflected behind. Corner forthcoming. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Timely intervention. Gallagher. And Edouard with it. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Connor Gallagher. Oh, nice ball. Well, the flag has gone up. It was really close. Will Hughes. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Sam Morsi. Macaulay Bond. Possession and patience, the watchwords. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. Well read to ease the pressure. Wilfried Zaha. And Edouard with it. A bit wasteful from Palace. Gallagher they've won back possession Connor Chaplin Macaulay Bond this looks interesting and collected tidily he had plenty to think about Intelligent threaded pass here. And well, they know they need to stop him. Will Hughes. Are you? Got to it easily, the keeper. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Substitution for Crystal Palace coming off the pitch. And time for the change now.
Can't quite take advantage in the end. And the counter looks on here. Options available. How about the cross? He read the situation defensively and did his job. Wilfried Zaha. And Edouard with it. He might be able to carve something out chance and there it is three goals in front now an immense performance well let's look at this again he's done superbly well to pick out a teammate here but should the keeper be beaten at his near post i don't think so he really needs to do better in those situations underway again with Crystal Palace very much in control good looking ball Thompson with it for tackling like that the onus is on the referee to take action potentially and a yellow card it's going to be Stewart yeah the refs got that right it's a yellow card all day long To the box it goes. A deft clearance. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Benteke. Kuyase now. Clear foul play. And as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Well, he can consider himself admonished even in the absence of a yellow card. substitution Zaha it should be oh dealt with by the goalkeeper Well, he could really get at the opposition. And looking towards the back post. Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. Well, they're going for the short one. The cutback. Milivojevic. Here's Anderson. Shot attempted. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. A lopsided contest. 4-0. And there goes the final whistle. Plenty of reasons for Palace fans to be cheerful on the back of this victory. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. 
Well, really no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.